Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll explain why it's super important to test fuses and relays and not to just assume that a fuse is good or bad because that may cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Mustang, that generation here from year 2015 to year 2023. If you guys need to find where the power distribution box fuse is located, you have a fuse that uh, uh, corresponds for the power distribution box, we'll explain where it's located, where to buy cheap fuses and relays from that way, don't waste your money, and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything guys. Anything from engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this absolutely free information. And if you guys need to buy any uh, replacement fuses, relays, because some of those could be really expensive the parts store any parts any tools for your car check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so let's start on it now so now guys we'll be working okay you actually have two different fuse boxes we'll demonstrate on a 2018 ford mustang gt but even if you have a different engine it will work as well so let me show you what we have here specifically the main engine fuse box is right here but today guys we don't need this one we need the fuse box that's located on the inside and that's located on the passenger side if you open guys okay the passenger door right here you come inside and you come right here in the food well on that kick panel if you grab that fuse box cover okay that cover right there just pull there is one clip okay and then you slide it up okay let me show you now this is the clip that you need to pull on the front you pull it out and then you slide it up because you can see how those things are here and you're going to get to the fuses right there now i'm going to take one picture and we're going to show you on the computer so you can see everything with a great detail it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so we guys took a picture of the interior fuse box right here so we can clearly see that that's the bottom that's the top that's towards the front of the car that's towards the back and the fuse for the power distribution box now if we zoom in next to the fuses you will see numbers which makes it really convenient and uh, the number that you will need to check now will be number 37 we're talking about that 20 amp fuse right here that you need to check for the power distribution box Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.